Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. Celine Driver bringing you another unboxing and review once again of a watch that is not mine. Uh, this watch comes to me uh, from yet another uh, random rob discord group uh, watch tour now for those of you briefly for those of you who don't know what a watch tour is that's basically um, a watch that is sent around to a uh, selected group of individuals in this case uh, 10 people plus myself that were drawn from a batch of uh, people who express interest in uh, experiencing this tour watch. Um, I am actually the tour leader, so I get the watch first, and then I send it on to the next person, and then they enjoy it for a while, and they send it to the next person, and so on until the tour ends. What we have here is a watch from a company in London, England, called uh, William Wood. Uh, William Wood was a, um, a firefighter. Uh, he was actually the grandfather of the company's own, own, current owner. He was um, credited with helping save five children in a house fire back in the, I believe, 1920s. This is all on the website. I, I will uh, link the website in the uh, description. He was awarded a certificate of merit uh, for his heroism. And that's why the company logo is a firefighter's helmet from the London Fire Brigade. And that's why I think this watch uh, case, which is this beautiful travel roll, is in this fire red uh, color very nice it closes with three snaps as you can see and inside we have uh, along with an extra strap in uh, what they call fire yellow uh, it is a uh, they, they put all their watches on these FKM like uh, silicon rubber straps uh, complete with quick release spring bars we have the Fearless in the uh, black uh, colorway. Oh, well, the black and yellow colorway, I should say. And we have the uh, brace, uh, the uh, strap with the uh, contrasting yellow uh, stitching uh, to the black. You can see it's... Uh, Signed, William Wood. And we have uh, this beautiful, um, I guess we could call this a field watch, really. It, it, it feels to me more like a field watch than anything else. It, it's definitely, you know, a sporting activities type watch. It does sport a screw down crown. I get the strap to behave itself. You can see it, it does disengage with a, uh, you know, a pop that you can feel. And it is a signed crown with the, uh, with the helmet logo. Has crown guards, as you can see, integrated to the case side. The back is very interesting. It has the uh, sort of the helmet shield, giving you a partial look at the movement. But uh, otherwise, it is a solid screwed out case back. You have quick release spring bars on the, on this um, as well. And it's a very nice watch. I've, I've been wearing this watch for uh, a couple of days now. It, it really uh, wears very well. The Fearless does come in three colors. Uh, they all come in the black uh, case. This is a, a an IP coating. Um, the the colorway has to do with the you know, obviously the inner chapter ring and 
other highlights. You can get it in the yellow, which we have here. We have it also uh, available in orange and red. And you can see the logo up there at the 12 o'clock. You can see it's London is the uh, city of manufacture. And it's a very, I'm going to put it on my wrist now for you, give you a nice wrist shot. It's a very comfortable watch to wear. The, uh, the strap, uh, thankfully, is not uh, smelly or sticky or any of the uh, things that cheap and uh, cruddy rubber straps are uh, known for. This is seems to be of good quality. It's soft. It's, it's, it's got a nice texture look to it. it. Gives it some nice visual detail. And it's very comfortable to wear. And you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, this watch fits very nicely. The down the barrel shot shows that the uh, the lug to lug isn't so big that I it doesn't fit my uh, it does fit my wrist very nicely with room to spare. It's not so small that it looks um, you know too dinky on my on my wrist, and it's not so big obviously that it looks like a clown watch. It just fits very well, and it's very comfortable to wear, as I said, and um, for what it is, it, it's uh, it's not a cheap watch, though. It's about $1,100 uh, U.S. Um, dollars, and as I said, I'll leave a link to uh, the, uh, the website so you can check it out for yourself, but it is a, a, a good quality watch, and... Um, Definitely worth the money. It is a, uh, as I said, it's a stainless steel case. It's um, IP coated black. Now on the website, they say this is a glass crystal. I'm not sure if they meant to say there was a sapphire crystal. Because their other watches are listed as sapphire crystals. And they're in about the same price range. But the website definitely says glass crystal so little mystified by that but uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna call it what they call it but I'm gonna say on a side note that it is probably sapphire inside the watch is a very standard very tank tough and so far very accurate NH35 movement from Seiko can't really see much of it. Um, this this um, design here, this this uh, you know l l goggles like uh, design uh, against your wrist, you don't feel it, even though it is kind of raised up a little bit. It, you don't feel it. It's it's perfectly smooth to the touch, and uh, it doesn't leave an impression on your wrist. It doesn't bother. It doesn't bother me at all. So it shouldn't bother uh, any of you, really. Because of the screw down crown, it is a hundred meter water resistance. That translates in the real world to it can get wet. You can shower with it. You can bathe with it. Although why you would, I don't know. You can get you can throw uh, get thrown in a pool with it. You can probably even uh, snorkel with it or even dive shallow depths with it. I wouldn't take this thing very deep. I don't know. With, with the rubber strap and the IP coating, it probably will hold up fine to salt water. I would just rinse it off when you uh, when you uh, get out of the, uh, the ocean or whatever. It is a 40 millimeter case. It's 13.8 millimeter thick. 45 millimeter on the lug to lug or tip to tip if you prefer 20 millimeter lug width and as I said spring bars are, are uh, quick release so this thing is definitely uh, fits the definition of a strap monster it has a standard 20 millimeter lug um, and it's really easy to change out uh, straps if you want to I mean we could just demonstrate that right now with the yellow one 
if I can get it apart. There you go. Pop this guy off. Find the lower hole. Trying to do this through an iPhone screen is not the easiest thing. Well, there you go. It's not the easiest thing at all, but it's certainly possible. And now you have the yellow uh, strap to match up with the uh, chapter ring. Which, I don't know. I mean, this part of the yellow strap, the sides and the back match up with that yellow beautifully. But this kind of dark uh, Goulden's mustard yellow uh, doesn't match up for me at all uh, to my eye. And uh, quite frankly, isn't as attractive. So I would, in this case, I would stay with the black with the contrast stitching. Oops. Come on. Don't look like a complete Muppet. There we go. Ha ha! Success. And the old guy can do it with the bad eyesight and everything. So, works very well. It's a very comfortable watch to wear. It's um, well built. Uses good parts uh, that are easily serviced. At least the movement is easy to service. It's a, it's a very, very nice looking field watch, and I would say it's definitely worth your time to uh, check out. Now with that, I'm going to uh, wrap up the video. Not much more to say about it. It's a very simple three-hander uh, field style watch with a, with a date window. Not much more to say about it, except I like it. It's really nice. Uh, even though it's a 40 millimeter, it fits me very well, and uh, I would definitely... Uh, if I was in the market for a field watch, I'd definitely consider it. But I hope you found this video to be entertaining, useful, and informative. If you did, please click that thumbs up for me. That does help uh, with the uh, YouTube search algorithms and brings people to the channel, and that's always a good thing. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to troll me or you're going to leave place, uh, links to places that are bad on the uh, internet, I'm simply going to delete the comment and block the commenter. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. I'm glad you found my channel. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have uh, roughly 600 videos out there right now, always adding more or trying to. Uh, please feel free to watch as many as you like. All I ask, if uh, you are willing to do so, is please click that subscribe button down below the uh, view window. And when you do, don't forget to click the bell icon so that when I upload new videos or I do a live stream, you will be alerted to these events. As I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there. And it is not getting any less crazy. So please, out there, be careful, stay safe, be well. I'll see you soon.